What we have here is a uh, MANA uh, natural gas furnace and it is leaking water out of the bottom here and uh, first thing we're going to want to do is find the electric that goes into it and turn that off. Next one I'm going to do is remove these screws here, take the top cover off, as well as the high voltage cover on the bottom. Okay, by the induction motor here, I can see that it's uh, leaking a little bit of water there. What I'm going to do is obviously keep the power turned off and I'm going to check the exhaust here this this uh, hose here that comes out make sure that that's clear and uh, see if that'll uh, take care of our issue okay so I uh, took the four bolts that hold the induction motor off and on the condensation box here I can see that it's leaking at the very bottom there. Hopefully the camera will focus here. So this is where our issue is. We'll have to uh, take this little box off here and then reseal it. Fortunately, I ran out of battery when I was uh, filming this, so this uh, happens to be a different furnace. Um, it is made by Goodman, which is the same manufacturer as the Amana. And you would need to uh, go in here and find the model number. And I believe on the Amana it is on the side there. With all the screws removed, we'll just simply pull this off. Okay, so I removed this uh, cover here, and behind here, this gasket had failed. So what I'm going to do is uh, take a putty knife and remove it, and then I'm going to put some uh, Permatex RTV silicone around there, and. I'm going to put it on this surface here. I'm going to do it uh, around the bolt holes. I'm going to put it on there and then finger tighten it until it oozes out a little bit. Then I'm going to let it dry for an hour and then come back and finally torque it. <laughs> 